What's up everyone, Darkblade here with a new video series called TNA Tactics. TNA standing for Trophies and Achievements. This series is going to be focusing on various games, harder and difficult trophies and achievements, mainly looking at the multiplayer ones. For this episode we're going to be taking a look at Uncharted 3's harder, competitive multiplayer trophies that were added with patch 1.13. Anyway, let's get into the episode. I think you dropped this is the first trophy that I would consider difficult. This trophy is to get a total of 50 Here Hold Disc medals. For a Here Hold Disc medal, you have to get a kill from a throwback grenade. When a grenade is near you from an enemy, you'll have this option here to throw back a grenade. You have to press triangle when the little red line is in the white marker. Then your character will throw the grenade back in the direction of your choosing. You just have to hope that this grenade actually kills someone to achieve the Here Hold Disc medal. There are some things that prevent you from throwing back a grenade. For example here, if there is a weapon near you, you will pick up the weapon instead of throwing back the grenade. If an opponent throws a grenade at another surface, it starts the grenade timer then. So when it does land at your feet, you've got next to no time to throw it back. Now these trophies can't really be gained in private matches, so they have to be done in public. And in public matches, the chances of you actually getting a throwback grenade is not that common. So it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort to farm them. It's also going to require a lot of luck. For me personally, the best game type to maybe achieve this medal in is Team Objective, especially when King of the Hill and Turf War comes up, because people are throwing grenades in and out of their various turfs and areas you need to hold, thus giving you plenty of opportunity to throw a grenade back in there from where it came from. Another way you can achieve this medal is that if an opponent has the revenge booster, potentially after you've killed them, they'll drop a grenade at their feet and then it will give you an opportunity to throw this grenade back at their teammates if you're quick enough and lucky enough. The fact that you have to be in the right place at the right time is one of the main reasons that makes I think you drop this such a hard trophy. Another hard trophy is Stealth Master. For Stealth Master, you have to achieve 50 Assassin Medals. Now, Assassin Medals are quite tough to get. This is because you are required to get three Old Snap Medals before you are granted your Assassin Medal. To achieve an O Snap Medal, you have to perform a Stealth Kill. To do this, you have to sneak up behind someone. A little blue Assassin mark will appear above your opponent's head then. Press the melee button and you'll perform an instant melee kill on them. Do this and you'll be granted your O Snap Medal. Do this three times and you'll be granted your Assassin Medal. Collect 50 of them and you'll be given your trophy. Certain loadouts can increase your chances of achieving these medals as well. For example, equipped in the booster cloaked will make it harder for your opponents to hear and see you. Certain kickbacks also help achieve these medals a bit more easily. For example, Speedy G allows you to sprint after people a lot quicker, which allows you to get the drop on them when they haven't noticed you behind them. Also, the kickback gotcha is really good as you're able to see your enemy's locations. Thus, you can plan the correct route to sneak up behind people and perform that important stealth kill. Unfortunately, there is no game type that gives you a distinct advantage in trying to achieve these medals. It's down to each individual player's situational awareness. Knowing the level, knowing the layout, knowing the best routes to sneak up on people is the best way to try to achieve these medals. Now another hard trophy, although it's not the hardest, is from all angles, which is to achieve 25 triple threat medals. The triple threat medal is another meta medal. To achieve one, you have to acquire a commando medal, which is to get free kills with long guns, a gunslinger medal, which is to get free kills with a pistol, and a fragum medal, which is to achieve free kills with explosives. Now unlike I think you dropped this and Stealth Master trophies, this trophy I feel relies on skill more than being in the right place at the right time. You have to have a certain amount of skill with each type of weapon in the game in order to achieve the medal which is needed for this trophy. It's hard to give out tactics for the triple threat medal, but all I can say is equip your loadout with the best weapons that you think you are personally good with. So equip the best long gun you're good with, the best pistol you're good with, for the explosives though, unfortunately you have to rely on grenades or kickbacks. Certain kickbacks can of course give you explosive kills which makes it a little bit easier. For example the RPG kickback is a definite kill if you can get it on target. If not, maybe go for hammer time or something as this will give you explosive kills as well. 
Picking up various power weapons as well will aid you in achieving your triple threat medal. For example, if you pick up a Mag 5 and get a kill with it, it will count towards the Gunslinger medal needed for the triple threat medal. Team Objective and Plunder have the potential to last longer than the Team Deathmatch game types, thus it makes it easier to achieve that triple threat medal which is needed for the From All Angles trophy. Another tricky trophy to get is the Head Crusher trophy. For this you have to acquire 50 Headhunter medals. A Headhunter medal is achieved by getting 3 headshot kills. Now headshots in Uncharted 3 are easier said than done. This is because the action is quite fast paced and you don't have a lot of time to pull off precise shots. The best way I think to get headshot kills is with the Dragon Sniper, the T-Bolt Sniper or other accurate weapons that have a zoom function. For me, Team Objective seems the optimal game type to achieve headshots. This is because on King of the Hill and Turf War, people seem to camp inside the areas rather than running about too much, thus making them easier sniping targets. Now there are loads of competitive multiplayer trophies, but a lot of them seem to be very accumulative. For example, looking for loot requires 50 free medal pickups. Payback is a trophy requires 50 retaliation medals. How's That Taste requires 50 fisticuff medals. Team Player requires 50 wins of Team Deathmatch. So as you can see, not all of these trophies actually need a tutorial video to explain them. I'm just covering the difficult ones that I had trouble with. And I hope this video helps you out in achieving these harder trophies. I want to say a big thank you to Sackboy and Barca for helping me get the footage for this video. Anyway, I've been Dartblade bringing you a TNA tutorial video for Uncharted 3's competitive multiplayer trophies. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching, so see you again next time.